With the release of The Endless Summer in 1964, the idea of traveling any distance necessary to find good waves was planted in the minds of surfers. In those early days, getting to your destination was an adventure in itself. When I was a kid, things were a lot tougher than they are today. The travel was not easy at all. A lot of places there were, you know, just very little airflow around the world. And uh, there was absolutely no website where you could check the surf forecasts for different places in the world, and no travel agencies to book your whole surf trip. Give it a shot and go someplace. Spend all your money and all your time to get there and it's not much yet. Today, surf travel has become much easier and surfers are still willing to pack up everything and travel to the far corners of the world in search of that perfect wave. But what's amazing is that Robert and I have traveled around the world our entire lives and have come to realize that perfect waves are closer to home than you think. This past year, the endless journey continues as we travel a few hours away to Central America and scored epic uncrowded waves in Costa Rica and Guatemala. We're going to go to uh, Guatemala in a few weeks. None of us have ever been to Guatemala, so it's going to be a big adventure for Sam and Wingnut and I and five or six other people are going to go. It's going to be that the, the adventuresome spirit again. We're going to be in an airport we've never been to. We're going to get in the car. We're going to go to the beach. We've never been to any of these beaches. We're going to check it out. You know, and God, I've been doing it for 55 years. And I'm still apprehensive about Guatemala. I can't wait.